Welcome to the College of William and Mary, home of the All Arts and Sciences Camp. For this year, the All Arts, Sciences, and Technology Camp. This is where you'll be spending the next five days in beautiful William and Mary. Oh, and by the way, if you're hungry for a quick lunch, be sure to stop by the College Deli. That's where we like to eat when we're not eating in the cab. So let's start on our tour of the College of William and Mary. These fine gentlemen are members of the Tyler family who are very closely associated with William and Mary. The gentleman in the middle was our president, John Tyler. It's said that late in the evening, on a full moon, you can come out and these gentlemen will be singing a three-part harmony of an old song from the 1860s. They're great, aren't they? This fine fellow is James Blair, the founder and the first president of the College of William and Mary. He also worked for the All Arts and Sciences camp during the summer of 1989 and was a fantastic counselor. Please stop in by and visit him when you come to the Here's an interesting oddity. These two William and Mary students were caught in the explosion of the great Williamsburg volcano. They were perfectly preserved in the ash as we see them today studying for their American history exam. Tragic, yet somehow artistically created. This area is known as the Sunken Gardens, and this is where we'll be playing many of our colony games and sports. It's quite a lovely area, well shaded, and close to everything here in Williamsburg, especially William and Mary. And here we have the famous Crimdell, one of Colonial Williamsburg and College of William and Mary's most iconic structures. There's a legend that goes along with this bridge saying that if you go across this bridge with someone you like, you'll marry them and have many children. But of course, like most legends, it's a lie. If you look over to our right, you'll see a very lovely stagnant pond in which resides many fish and the occasional turtle. It's a very lovely area. This, of course, is the lovely Sadler Center, recently named after Mr. Sadler, who contributed Buku's amount of money. Look to our left, and we see lovely outside eating area, and just beyond that, is the William & Mary coffee shop. It's never open, but if you ever wanted a cup of coffee, that would be a great place to go. In a moment, we'll step inside and take a look. As we walk into the University Center, you'll notice there's a help desk to the right, a Wachovia cash machine, a television that's never on, and some lovely artwork. Let's step inside. Here in the lobby area of the Sadler Center, there's a lot to see. The sculpture of two buzzards flying were named William and Mary. William's the one on the top. Notice the spiral staircase leading to the second and third level. And if we pan up really high, there are some cartoons. William and Mary, how they looked after they died. We're going to come back down. And you'll notice there's a television. This was one of the first televisions brought over with the settlers in 1774. And immediately to our left is where we'll be eating. Yes, William and Mary's cafeteria is legend for the fantastic food served in the most unique style. Perhaps if they let us sneak in, we can take a quick look inside. Look at all that food. Yes, that's where you'll be eating. Isn't that exciting? I know. Here's one of William and Mary's clever little jokes. Disguised as a fraternity house, this is really a pie shop. As the letters stand for, always eat pie. 
I've enjoyed many pies here myself. My favorite is lemon meringue. What's yours? Now we're in William and Mary's famous Lost Forest, so-called because of all the people who have been lost in here and never seen again. Lost Forest is famous for housing all of Virginia's mythical creatures. In here, you will find one, at least one, of every mythical creature known in Virginia. It's rumored that the last unicorn in the entire world lives in this forest. Perhaps if we're very, very quiet, we'll catch a glimpse of him. Oh, and while we're here, do be careful of the gremlins. They are quite mischievous, but in a group, they can be very dangerous. So if you see one, turn around and go the other way. Here's a special part of the Lost Forest. This is the road that Robert Frost said is the road not taken. Actually, the road not taken is the road to the left. The road taken is to one of the right, and that leads to our girls' dormitory, Yates. Let's go take a look. Now there's a site that always makes me feel fairly secure. Here in Lost Forest, we see the raptor cage is fully intact, keeping the raptors very closely inside. They'll pose no danger to us today. This fine structure is Yates' dormitory where the young women of the All Arts and Sciences camp will be spending their evenings. We'll pan to the left and see behind the trees beautiful William and Mary Hall. And there's one of our many trucks that we drive. And there are some dumpsters and some little houses. This is William and Mary in all its splendor. And this is where the boys will stay. This is Madison Dorm, and beyond stiff is Dawson. This is probably the most beautiful part of the campus, which is why the boys are here and not the girls. The noise you hear off to my right is 10,000 BTUs of cooling power. It keeps our dorms nice and chilly and keeps the cockroaches happy. And this is the William and Mary Football Stadium, home of the tribe. Interestingly, in the many, many years that William and Mary has been in playing football, they have never won a game. The closest they came was in 1742, when then quarterback Thomas Jefferson rushed for 400 yards and nearly made the winning touchdown, but unfortunately was knocked down by James Madison. Every year they try to play and win, and every year they fail. But isn't it a lovely state? And what trip to William and Mary would be complete without a visit to the Wawa? Those of us who live in Greensboro look forward to our trip to Wawa every year. It contains some of the most exciting delicacies that are found in all of Eastern Virginia, and at a very nice price too. Be sure to stop by the Wawa on your way either to or from the All Arts and Sciences Camp.